is a short video that will go through the processes of doing a whitewash in a pig barn. The reason that we're doing this is there's been a lot of questions and concerns raised around PED and other diseases and whitewash is starting to have a resurgence and starting to be used as a good alternative in addition to many of the current washing procedures for barns. There are many commercial whitewash companies out there and you may want to look at your local area to see who, who is available to do larger scale. However, a lot of producers are starting to do it for themselves for many biosecurity reasons. This can be done very cheap and easy and it's something that anyone can do. All you need to do is go to your local hardware store, which is where most of these things were purchased from, and get a low volume pump that is a submersible pump. This particular one is a 0.6 of a horsepower and also has a direct hose attachment, so there's not many attachments you need to put onto it. Add to it a regular garden hose with adjustable nozzle. You may need to play around with some of the different nozzles for, to adjust the flow, and then a garden hose that can hook up to it. You will need to mix it in something and just a regular old garbage can, or if you've got any old drums around, are perfect for mixing. Something with a flat bottom would be nice. There's some guys, this particular one has wheels on it, some guys will hook them up to a dolly so that they can move it around the barn. I'd like to take a few minutes to talk about safety. Because we're going to be using hydrated lime and it can cause burns particularly if wet, you want to be very careful with it. You don't want to get this into your lungs, breathing in the powder, or getting some into your eyes, because it can burn and be quite dangerous. So we highly recommend that you use some basic precautions. Uh, wear some gloves, some eye protection would be key. Ideally something that fully encloses the eyes, so you don't get dust into it. And definitely wear a mask. As you're mixing, sometimes the powders come up, and you don't want to be inhaling the product. Follow up with all your staff and any people doing it. Ensure that they are following all the procedures. Particularly when applying it, they want to wear a full cover to their head, cover off their arms as best they can, as some splatter could occur and could cause burns. Now it's on to mixing it up. What you want to do is pre-measure out the amount of water that you'll need and then also have small amounts of lime that you can mix in. You'll want to be mixing it at a slow rate, small amounts, and then mixing just so that you can prevent some of the clumping. You'll be letting it sit for a period of time so that should help. Agitating it regularly will help and one of the best things that you can use for this is a paint mixer on the end of a drill. This gets you the torque, gets you some spinning in there and does a really good job mixing. So we'll go ahead and show you that on, put on our safety equipment 